G'day everybody, and welcome back for more The Hunter. In the last stream for Dare Drop, I got a bunch of keys to give away, and so I figured I'd jump back in, get punched by more kangaroos, probably, and <laughs> also try and give those away. You can follow them, but don't forget to also look and up and observe what's in front of you. Enjoy listening to these people. Hang on a sec. Uh... Oh, not dialogue off. Dialogue up. Oh. This is actually pretty... Hmm. This game's a lot quieter than other games. I can't do much to fix that right now. Oh well. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so I thought I'd start doing... I'd continue wandering around and just shooting every goat that I see. Uh, yes, I'm I'm sure that to non-Aussies, Kiwis, and probably South Africans, um, an Australian and Kiwi accent can sound very similar. Oh, 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 oh. There's something in here. What is it? We can have... Oh, that's a deer. I'm going to shoot the deer. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Thank you for seven months. Uh, so, I was thinking what I might do... Oh, this is, this is a bad spot. No. This is a bad spot. This the beams are just at the wrong height. No, that doesn't help. Dang it. I need to try and get around the side of this fence. And see if I can get that buck. Uh but yeah, I've got a bunch of keys. I was thinking I would uh do the giveaway each time I get an animal. I've got two of the base game key, I think four of the Emerald Coast DLC, and one of the power pack ones from the first The Hunter stream that I completely forgot to give away, I think. Or it might have been from the last stream, I'm not sure. Oh, did it already get all the way up the hill? Have I already lost the deer? I think I've already lost the deer. Thanks, Plastic Gun. Thanks for the Prime Sub. Ah, uh, but yes. To to people not from the English-speaking Southern Hemisphere, uh, Australian and Kiwi accents can sound similar. The main difference is, when an Australian says an A sound, it sounds like A, ah, and when a Kiwi says an A sound, it sounds like E. And their E's sound like I's and their I's sounds like U's. If they've got a really thick accent. Uh, the keys would be for Steam only. They're all Steam keys. I think I've got to creep up this hill. Here we shift their vowels to the right. <laughs> It's like fush and chups. Is the old uh, thing that Aussies mock them for. They mock us for other things, but that gets that gets into a whole other territory. It's like sibling rivalry. <laughs> Thanks, Pyro Ghost. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. And thanks, TM2 Ben. Thank you for the prime sub. Uh, also, thanks Distortion Addict for the offline sub. <laughs> oh. oh, now it's 120 meters away and down a hill. I wonder if I can stand up. Now it's spooking it. 
Oh, this... this feels really wrong. See, some of the rocks really do look like animals. Um, the sunshine and the birds and everything make this look like it's really warm where I am in game. And it feels like Australia. Yet I'm freezing in my shed. Australia has hills, we just don't have mountains. Because... <laughs> Uh, very old. Very, very geologically old and worn. I didn't watch the video, but there was a, uh, there was a thing that popped up on my YouTube recommended the other day, which is like, Uluru exists because an eight kilometer high mountain eroded to become it. Australia used to have some massive mountain range in the middle that looked like the Himalayas. Oh. Spotted it. Okay. And breathe. Oh, got a hit. Did I get a good one? Come on. It looked like it should have been a good hit. It staggered initially. No, it's gone left. I just want to... Find it. Find where I hit it. Where's the blood? This. Vital organ hit. Here we go. There it is, just down there. Nice! That's a strong start. <laughs> Um, is it just going to collapse right there? Hello? Alright, well, bonus. <laughs> Yep, her path, that, the pathfinding on that doe was a bit messed up. Alright, what did we get here? Left lung. Gold trophy. Inspect. Uh, X-ray. That's a pretty clean shot. I'm still, I still want to see if I can get myself a heart shot. Accept that, see if I can get myself a level up. Or at least the money to get some sort of uh, improved mobility. Bloodhound to help you find blood. Yeah. It's usually not too bad. Like, if I remember where I, where the animal was when I shot it, it's usually not too hard to find. Cash from that. Now, let's see if I can do this giveaway. So the first one, let's do a base game. So, what you need to do is type this in chat. Angaroo. And in like, my no. Let's say 30 seconds, I'll roll it. Which, what am I closest to? This I'm closest to. Let's keep going. Can I get back up this hill? Oh. What's that? Oh, access deer. Let's just keep moving. 
This is just the base game, this one. Steam base game key for to begin with. So the way this is going to work is... Alright. 10. 9. Me doing a countdown doesn't really make any sense. Because uh, of the Steam... Because the stream delay. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to go... 3. 2. 1. And I'm rolling it. Okay. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Badgie. Uh, can you send me... Hang on. Can I send you a whisper? With the key. I can. There we go. Steam key sent. So there we go, that's that's one of them done. Uh, I should probably mark that I've done them. And since I shot the deer as well... Um... Let's go... Back? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'll do another one in a minute. Thanks, Tincho. Thank you for the Prime sub. Don't shoot Capac yet. Well, uh, last time I played this, I made I made the name of my dog Capac, so I'm not going to shoot my dog. That would be terrible. I was trying to think of a way to also give away one of these keys to the um, YouTube VOD, but I couldn't work out a way to do it. So if someone watching the YouTube VOD has an idea of how I might be able to do something like that without it becoming a major pain, or if someone in Twitch has an idea, that'd be good. Because yeah, I just can't think of a way to make that work. What's the current objectives? The current objectives are... Go to all of these landmarks. And there's one just up here, so I thought I'd go to it because it's only a kilometer away. Nope, this is Friday. This is always single player. So no joining of others. I'm interested to see how you guys find today's stream. Because my plan is to do, like, two hours or so of this, and then two hours or so of Forever Skies. And in the future, I might break up my Friday streams that way, unless I'm getting, like, super into the game that I start the stream with. Because there are so many games I want to play, and it's... <laughs> slightly, like, how do I make it so I can fit more in? What can I do? Are any of these tracks going in a direction I want to follow? Doesn't... Oh. How old? I wasn't expecting kangaroo prints here. Hmm. Uh, there are some saltwater crocs. Yes, that's what I need. To, that's what I need to find today. What gear am I packing? Uh, stuff. Things. I don't know weapons. I've got a Ranger 243 and a Zagan Varminter 22 and a handgun 357. Thanks, test unit. Thank you for the prime sub. Also, test unit. Um, can you... Can you send me... If I... Hang on. 
Let me do this. Because you did the lasso thing, just while I'm remembering it, uh, let me know which uh, game you want the video recorded in. If I sent you a whisper, you can reply back. Capac and I were talking about um, the lasso video things. Why can I not minimize this chat? Oh, there we go. I seem to have a perk point available. Do I? Oh, I do have a perk point available. What perk should I get? Uh, muscle memory. Unlocks the ability to ready your next shot without leaving aim mode for rifles, shotguns, and handguns. Hmm. Increased ready speed for firing. Switch between zero distances. Oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> What's this? Decrease wobble wind in aim mode using any weapons. Ah. That seems like a good idea. I think I'll grab that one. Thanks, free hugs. <laughs> uh, and... Oh, that's right. These are the... Struggling to get this to highlight. 2100. I've got a fair bit of cash. Let's do it. Uh, I am, <laughs> this is both a new save when the DLC came out and I'm new to the game. This is like the, I've played like seven hours of it or something. Not a lot. Oh, what was that? Axis deer. We might be able to get ourselves another deer. If I'm careful. Oh, I, I scared it. Or did I? Oh, here we go. Bucks on the move. Oh, I got a hit. I think it was a good one. I think I got a good hit. Running, 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 running. There's our blood spot. Fight a log and hit. And there's our deer. Ah! Oh! Ah ha ha. That was a quick down. Spect, how close was I? Oh. Nice. Bang on. How far away was I when I shot that? 117 meters. That's pretty good for me. I don't know why I'm saving these harvests, but someone said I should when I started out, so I've just been doing it every time. <laughs> Alright, another key. Uh, do the same thing. Type in... Angaroo in chat. And we'll give them another key. Uh, this time will be the Emerald Coast DLC.
for those who already have the game on Steam. If you don't already have the game on Steam, uh, is it in the Steam sale? It, it is. It's six bucks in. It's six dollary dues in Australia speak. Uh, so yeah, it's in the Steam sale too. Steam sale, Steam, 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 Steam sale. Words. To that effect. So yeah, this is the Emerald Coast DLC that I'll give away this time. Well, I'm going to have to buy more ammo at the next little spot that I can do that. I only have 11 shots left. <laughs> hey, Tex. Yeah, seems stale. Yeah, <laughs> that Tex. I lost it. No, that's just a doe. We've got a buck around here. Might have to go for the doe. If there was another buck around here. Probably should have taken that shot when I had the chance. They were moving pretty quickly though. It was going to be a difficult one. Just going to creep up the hill a little bit. All right, time to go to give. Time to go. Time to do the giveaway. Roll it. Masmus. Where's Masmus in the thing? How far away did it go back? Uh, Masmus, send another chat <laughs> so that I can see your name and more easily just whisper you and give the key. Nothing as expensive as a rushed shot. Makes sense? Creeping up the hill. I don't think there's any point. I think they've all run off. Alrighty. Uh, whisper. Got it. Here you go. One Emerald Coast DLC. Key. I think I'm just going to stand up. I think they're all gone. Oh, no, I was wrong. I was very wrong. Oh, that was stupid. Where'd it go? Where'd the buck go? Oh, that was a good hit too. I think. That was a proper stumble. Where's the blood? Where's the blood? Oh, no, that's a little spot. Nuts! That was not a good hit. <sighs> Poop. Dang it. I was creeping up the hill for so long, I should have just stuck with it. Impatience got the better of me, and now I can't even see where its tracks went. Is that it down there? Surely not. No, oh, that's gone the wrong way.
Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Checking checking the map will show uh, hunting pressure if you've killed the animal. But I've also killed other stuff in this area, so I don't know if it's the current one or if it's a previous one. Oh no, there's two. Was that? I don't know, I've killed so many things up here, I'm not sure. <laughs> There's something on the ground over here. It looks like it's poop. Keep following. Which means more distraction from my quests. Just keep following. Focus. What? No! What? No! That's a different animal. Stupid track switching when I clicked on the other thing. Do, 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 do. Where is the deer? Let's get this feed zone to mark it on my map. Now that I know how the track system works, now that I better know. I do wonder how far I'm going to end up following this thing. <laughs> Apparently I gave up on some hunts that I'd actually completed previously, so I'm going to try and stick with it. Thanks, Nixack. Thank you for the prime sub. Oh, there it is. Could spot the blue. There's the deer. <clears throat> yes, I heard you, deer call. Confirm trophy. Bronze trophy! Whoa! <laughs> oh, stomach hit. I think that's the first stomach hit I've ever gotten. Poor thing. I didn't mean to get a gut shot. Back to the quest. Let's just run up there this time.
Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry. Sorry, Alflington. That was not intentional. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> uh... Okay, so we that was another deer. Or another kill. Which means let's do another DLC giveaway. How do you run in this game? You press shift. Alright. So now for that one. Uh, Emerald Coast DLC again. I've, all except for one will be the Emerald Coast DLC. So this time do this. Pack a dial. So I run up the hill. Chasing away something. Alright, give another 25 seconds. 20 seconds. Fleeing red fox. I want at least get up to I want to at least get to one of these mission markers without getting completely distracted. <laughs> Uh, Tex, it's this. I'll specify what the key is beforehand. If I say DLC, it's just DLC. Some money for a dough here, I guess. All right. Okay, rolling it in three, two. One and Zizon. Uh, send another. Oh no, I found you. Go. Okay. Zizon, enjoy your Emerald Coast DLC key. And where'd the deer go? Oh. I lost him. Oh well. Keep running. Up the hill. Chat paused you to scroll. Stop doing that. They went to the left, did they? Hmm. Oh, I see nothing. Hundred ninety five meters to go. What I should probably do is after after I get to this one, head this way and head toward the coast so that I can go and hunt some crocs. I'll try and kind of go down that route. Or maybe I'll go there to there and head a bit south and try and get these three. And then we can head up the coast and see what see how much I get eaten by a croc. So, Tex, yeah, the I actually do enjoy this game. I, I'm not someone who would ever go out hunting in the actual world, 
but hunting a few pixels is fun. Especially as it is, it, there are, there is some challenge to it, in or, in order to get get the good stuff. Um, it's also an interesting examination of other ways to hunt in games because it's so different to how most survival games do hunting. I think I need to go around the other way. Um, so I kind of like, I like that it's got that, a very different approach to hunting that's a bit, not from what you've seen so far of me today, because I've just been wandering upon deer and not really planning anything, but compared to, say, Icarus, where animals just everywhere, uh, there's a lot more contemplation and planning. get up there. Looks like it might slope gently enough around if I go all the way around past these, past the three sisters. Analog. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be able to climb this. I'm going to try. Nah, there's no way I can climb that. This ain't Skyrim. Maybe it is. Nope. Oh, oh. Maybe I got lucky. Game's trying to prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, Silent Bob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. I don't think I'm getting up this. All right, let's walk around. Yeah, one of the reasons I was talking about talking earlier about um, a desire to sort of see how it goes playing two games during a four hour stream or a four to five hour stream on a Friday is that there are lots of games out there that I'd like to try and I just can't figure out a way to try them and give them enough time without all taking a massive break from something else. Because I've usually run sort of my video and my stream schedules on a weekly sort of thing where I play something once a week. And I'm tr I'm testing with the Stationeers series and with the brand new Space Engineers series that's going to be starting this weekend. Uh, running on a two weekly run. So there'll be a video of those series every two weeks. See how that goes. So there's um there's some desire to try out some new things, see some other game mechanics and give myself give myself an education in the ways that some other games do some of the things that I play that I have in the survival open world games that I love playing. Dells, I can't tell if you're trolling or not. With that comment. Because <laughs> I know you've been around for a while, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, have you tried No Man's Sky? Several times and it makes me angry. Nobody likes me when I'm angry. Like, when Capac's angry, I just laugh at him. He's funny. My angry's not so funny. <laughs> Thanks, free hugs. Oh, poop. I was hoping I could climb up there. <laughs> Oh, 
Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, I I wish No Man's Sky was disappointing for me. I wish that's how I felt about it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It just it just gets under my skin and it just Urgh. It just yeah. It was just it's funny bringing that up now. Um just before the start Where the heck can I climb up this thing? Oh, I've still got to go further. Uh, just before the start of this stream I, uh, someone asked in the chat, uh, what I think about the new Seven Days to Die Alpha. Uh, so, those of you who've, uh, been on stream when I've talked about that before, yeah, not going back to Seven Days to Die. I said to Capac the other day, I will only go back to Seven Days to Die if he asks me to. He has to straight up come out and ask me to do a thing which Capac never does so if he really wants to play it and he really wants someone to play with he can ask me and I said yep I'll do it but if you don't ask me I'm not doing it so yeah <laughs> the only way I will try seven days today again is if Capac asked me to Because I wanted to give myself an out, just in case. <laughs> just in case, for some reason, I'm like, yeah, I do want to play this again, say, a year from now. Um, <laughs> so I didn't want to be like, 100%, no, 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 no. I need an out. Capac is my out. Uh, text, there is co-op on this. Yes. Um, Shadow and I, during the first stream I did of this, played it together. And we scared off pretty much every single animal. <laughs> and tried to shoot moose with pea shooters. <laughs> Thank you, Smiggles Tech. Thank you so much for tier 2 sub for 33 months. Nearly three years. Thank you to Killjoy. Thank you for 10 months. I, I, I've, like, obviously I've got to admit, I've had a lot of fun in Seven Days to Die over the years. I just found myself during that last stream series on YouTube getting angrier and angrier at the devs over the things that they changed in the game that I really, really didn't like. Uh, they took a game that I I loved and tore out my heart. <laughs> they just, they took out all the bits I liked. Visit the triplets. There we go. Now that's a view. That is a pretty nice view, even with the balloon. So I should try and go down to this spot first, then across to that one, and then around and down to here. And follow the river. Oh, I might find a croc on the river. Yeah, Tex. <laughs> um, I I imagine your experience of SnowRunner does something to uh, help you sympathize with my experience with Seven Days to Die. Any question mark that's slightly lit up is Lodge. Good. Because I need more fast travel locations. Uh, Living Lumber, I saw Capac playing Mars First Logistics back when we pl both played it at PAX last year. Um, we're going to play it again to get... We're going to play it together because uh, they didn't have the multiplayer in it at that stage. Uh, we're going to play it again 
to but together for the first time on Monday. Get this large and buy some ammo and maybe see if I've now unlocked the ability to buy a vehicle. Or a dog? Um, maybe. Well, where's the... What the... What? What? Where's... How? How do I get to this? Where is the entry? Oh, here. Jeez. Okay, I have currently in me... In my impression... 243. Alright. Uh, so, store... Ammo. Oh, they're free. Sure, let's buy the free ones. And I might buy more of the varmint uh, soft points. How much do I have for my handgun? Yeah, I've got enough. Okay. Uh, I was going to see about garage. Oh, I haven't unlocked them. And the, I can only get the DLC ones, which I thought I had, but apparently I don't. Which was very confusing. Oh, I don't have... What? I'm so confused. I bought these things during the... I reckon Steam's done something weird with my DLCs. <laughs> oh well. Alright, no ATV, no dog. Uh, Tex, I'm, I don't know about Beam. Um, BeamNG, I kind of need to have some way to play a game in it that has minimal frustration in setting it up. One of my big issues with SnowRunner, um kind of applies to a lot of driving games, which is yeah, you can totally play them with other people, but by doing that you got to figure out a way to play them with other people and in driving games unless people's skills are incredibly close you end up with one person winning and one person losing and the others uncertain about which, whether they're going to be second, second or second last. Um, and that's not really playing together. And so that drives me a little bit up the wall because I, when I play co-op, I want to actually experience some, have a shared experience. I don't want toddler style parallel play. Um, like I, I want to actually play with someone. Which might be why <laughs> Capac drives me insane so much. Because he's quite happy to play alongside and not actually interact and just be existing in the same space. 
No, oh, I scared off the hog deer. It's tempted to go after the pig. But yeah, it's that was that was my biggest bugbear for SnowRunner was even even when the multiplayer code did work, I wasn't playing with wasted. I wasn't playing with Capac. We were talking to each other while we all played our own game. There wasn't enough to do to play it together. And that's what I love about a survival game. A survival game gives you enough activities to share together to create a whole and create an experience that is properly shared. Like in terms of car games, uh, the sumo maps in GTA are probably some of the most fun multiplayer I've had in cars. Obviously with a crew of people who you have some knowledge of. Yeah, and so this, like me talking about the my desire to play co-op games together, it probably informs some of you as to why I have a tendency to make co-op games so difficult. Because the more difficult you make something, the less likely you are to be able to do it on your own. And the more you're going to benefit from having someone to help you. So if I take a survival game and I up the difficulty to insane levels, the only way you're going to survive is by working together. And so I try and force the hands of the people I play with so that we do end up playing together. And that's, I think, why I got drawn to that concept of a very difficult survival game. Uh, because it does, it does encourage that. And it often works. Sometimes it doesn't. I'll admit. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't. But it often does. Um, so, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I, um, I very much want to push for when I set up a game. Um, Tex, yes, I do have interest in any kind of game, to be honest. Uh, unfortunately, the time you guys play any of those MechWarrior games doesn't work for me at all at the moment. I've been intentionally testing out doing more videos and less streams because the videos are more flexible. I'm just looking down in this valley to see if there are any animals down there and I can't spot anything. I'm hoping the open terrain will make it a bit easier for me. But I'm heading towards this marker here. So I did have a look into 5M and all the GTA multiplayer stuff. Um... Unfortunately, all the mods for it are really focused around the roleplay side of things, and I wanted more of a pick-up-and-play private server style of thing to run, not a let's try and seriously do this. Because I, I didn't want GTA to be that much of a time commitment. <laughs> but I know a lot of people have a lot of fun with that, and I think if I had the time, so would I. seen an animal for ages. 
can follow these tracks if they go in the right direction. Oh. Mating call from a red fox. I am so not going to be able to see a fox in this. I know my limitations. My limitations are no fox. <laughs> yeah, that's that is a always good advice jackslope is to watch the ridge lines because then you see the silhouette of the animal against it it's also why if you're ever playing any sort of military sim don't walk on the ridge lines you stand out like a sore thumb So yeah, I did look into what stuff I could find for 5M and none of the stuff that I could find was what I was looking for. And I wasn't invested enough to try and make something myself or get uh, someone skilled in my Discord to make it. Oh, that was a warning call. I might be able to get closer. Let's see. Don't st don't stand on the ridge line. The emus will shoot you. I'm a bit disappointed. There's no emu. Then I could have gone for a stream where I was like, "Yep, let's get that coat of arms." An emu and a roo. Pass this little grass here, and then can I spot it? Spot it, I can track it. No. Can't spot it. Oh. Fox? Oh, there it is. Nope, that is not the rifle for this moment. <sighs> I'm not the animal. No, I don't want to. I... <laughs> I'll shoot a cat back when he annoys me, but I'm not. I'm not enough of a. <laughs> I'm not enough of a Rimworld denizen to uh, want to actively hunt him as the most dangerous game. Although, if that was a game, maybe I would. Huh. Hmm. I have to think about that. Would I hunt Capac as the deadliest game? I'm not going to get this fox, am I? How would you do a game like that, though? Because you'd need some sort of mechanism to for the hunter to be able to find the person. Maybe similar to the track system in this.
Oh, I'm giving up on the fox. Fox is too hard. Yeah, I need to wait at the spots, but I'm also trying to unlock the map, so waiting at the spots kind of runs counter to that. I've got mixed... mixed desires. They are conflicting with one another. Yeah, the red fox heard me. This is not good terrain for me to follow a red fox. So, the Capac mating call would be Blamo. The uh, Capac fleeing noise would be Bad Wrong. Um, or the warning vocalization, as it's put. Uh,. Well, Capac's ow would be when you shoot him. He'd have to go, ow! Thanks, Morgdred. Thanks for the prime sub. Missed that 15 minutes ago. What do we have here? Lake in a cave. Oh dear. Right. Where am I going now? I want to keep going... Yeah, I want to keep going east towards the water, but I might head north up to this spot first. Yeah, there might be some deer out in this area. No, if so, the you should be able to hear Capac moving around because he's because of his thoroughly disorganized and overfilled inventory. So you can just hear him. He's like this rattling jumble of tins and cans and cooking implements because he's carrying too much stuff. That would be the sound of him moving around that you could track him with. Miss the Samba. Oh. Uh, I think that's a rock. And it's definitely a rock. I think you should be able to hear even his HUD clutter. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, any caliber is the right caliber for a rock, because you'll always stop it dead.
more open territory here, which means there might be a chance of me spotting something. Cruise about. I should be scanning right to left. Not left to right, but it is what it is. Let's see bags a small boulder the size of a large boulder. Yep. Axis deer. More axis deer. Oh, there they are. I see the buck. Okay, let's get closer. It's that over there? Fallow deer. They're on the move though. The axis deer are feeding. Okay, do I attempt to go for a heart shot? Let's see how close I can get. Minor. There's nothing too special. I might be able to get down to the road and get myself prone and get a more steady shot. So if I spot one, check the map and it'll tell you the distance. Tracked animal. Uh, don't know that's true. Not seeing any distance marker for it. Oh wait, there it is. I mean, it says where it's spotted, but it doesn't tell me a distance. 180, oh, 178.93 meters. Still not moving. Pick any of them, they're all the same. Down to a closer range. Thanks, Master MSC. Thank you for a year. Thank you very much. Use the RPG and get them all. Um, RPG, instant mints. Including all your favourite bits of offal. Close enough. Can I get closer? The wind is somewhat favourable. If I go prone here, can I see them? I think the grass is too long. Yeah, it is. It's not going to be an easy shot. I need to get closer. There you go. I used the spray.
Thank you, XC6. <laughs> Thank you for 22 months. Yep, closing in on two years. It's crazy how, <laughs> how that time has gone. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Let's sneaky, sneak, 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 sneak. Somehow you have 27 months for cat back. Huh? Maybe Capac's been time traveling and messed everything up. I hear he likes those type of shows. Oh, this is creating a bad angle. I need to get higher. Trying to close the uh, close the distance too directly. I was tempted to go for a long shot, but I I kind of I want to I want to see if I can get a heart shot. I haven't even done any of them yet, so I figured if I could get up real close, I might have a better chance. Maybe. Uh, this is... I should have taken the long shot. I'm not going to be able to get close enough. I don't know how long the spray lasts for. Now, 30 minutes. 30 in-game minutes? Oh, wait, you can see the timer above my binoculars. Scope. No! I missed everything! No! Oh, I shouldn't go for hard shots. Dang it. I'll just have a quick look around and see if there is any blood. I don't think I hit anything. I think I missed every single shot. Well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, where was I going? Uh, now northeast. I wonder if there was more collision on the trees than I thought. Um, since I couldn't manage to, I like <clears throat> spot the animal through the tree. I probably shouldn't have assumed that I could also shoot the animal. I wonder if that was uh, possibly part of my problem. Ooh, lake, of course. Any animals down by the lake? Yes, there are. All right, here's another chance. I'm gonna shoot them from across the water. Uh, 
All right, let's get down a bit closer. Probably got a pretty sweet angle from here, actually. We've got a buck, we've got three does. All right, this is a long shot. I don't know how to change my zeroing. Um, so I'm going to account for a little bit of drop by aiming high on the back of, back of it. Oh, I got a hit. I definitely got a hit. Did a good stumble. I can see an animal moving up the hill. Is that it? Is that the same buck? Don't know. Is that the doe? I can't tell from here. Should have had my binoculars out. Let's go get that blood spatter. Yeah, I, I've... I was pretty confident I killed it, so I wasn't too worried about checking the map. Oh, dang it! Oh, that was a good shot there for a second. Wait for my heart rate to slow down. Oh, caused it to stumble too. Alright, we'll go this one first, and then we'll go around the lake and find that blood spatter. So many tracks down here. Okay, here's the blood. We'll follow this one first. Hello? Why can't I see its tracks? <laughs> there it is. Uh, hello? Tracks? Oh no! Don't be like this! <laughs> this isn't fair! Where's my blue track? But, 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 where's my deer? Aha! Here it is. Yay! Oh wait, cancel. Inspect. Wow, there really wasn't much bullet drop. Like I aimed high, and it hit really high. Yay, I gotta level up. Skills. More directional. Uh, uh, I kind of want to get the more directional thing. It's kind of handy if I'm actually following something. Yeah, I'm doing it. I still see that deer. I scare it off. Just 
just going to see if I can get lucky and then I'll head back down to the water side and track the other deer I shot. Doesn't look like he's hanging around. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. For the skill points. Oh, I shot it in the butt. Whoops. <laughs> that might make finding the other deer more difficult. Now I've shot two. <laughs> oh, also, uh, giveaway. Uh, hang on. One sec. Got another DLC. Emerald Coast DLC to give away. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. What shall we do this time? Uh... Here you go. This is what we'll do this time. I'm going to go... I might ignore... Ignore the track I might have gotten from that one. For now. Let's see if I can find the blood spatter from the earlier one. Did I get too greedy? Do I remember where I shot that first deer over this side? This is where the dog might be useful, and I can't get one. That's poop. That is not blood. Does anyone who plays this a lot know how long the blood lasts for? Until you harvest. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And rolling. Barbacoso. Uh, where are you? Unless, there we go. Enjoy. Here is your key. Just marking which ones I've given away and which ones I've still got left. I've got to find this blood. And the red on the plant just threw me this red color here. Aha! I found some blood. I have no idea which deer this is from. I am not going to shoot another animal and get myself confused. I am just going to focus on finding this one. I can see them right there.
Hey, Nev. <laughs> thank you for two years. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, and thank you for the moderating and modding and everything. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the one I shot in the rear. But at least if I clear this one, I can go back and see what I... See if I can find more blood. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, there it is. Jeez, how far has this thing gone? It's still up. Oh, it's doubled back. Oh no. Okay, good. Wait, am I chasing one of these and they haven't gone down yet? I think I might be. Do that, then run back to this. No? Tracks? Uh oh. Tracks? Um, hmm. Hmm. Thanks, our command. Thanks for the prime sub. See you, Tex. Yes. Uh, itsy bitsy splitsy is getting less itsy bitsy, so he's doing well. Oh, what? I think I've lost it. I think I've lost the trail. Right near a question mark thing. Alright, I'll turn around and get to that. Well, poop. <laughs> Next time, I will not shoot two animals in a row. That was a mistake, and so was the extra one I shot beyond that. Yeah, it was going to be hard to tell if I'd actually downed it or not because of the multiple animals I'd shot around there and whether it'd show up properly. Poop. Alright, uh, where am I heading? I'm heading eastward. Follow the road or I can just... Let's head due. Pretty much. Maybe a little bit north. I want to hunt a crocodile.
Oh, because of something stupid I did previously with the giving away of keys, uh, something I should probably specify is if I can't give it away during the stream, I will attempt to give it away again, but do a new re-roll next time. So if I can't, if the person's, say I use the same command or something like that, and, um, or a person has to leave and can't let me know, uh, then I'll just do it again. Because I had one situation before where I, I did a giveaway and I think the person had left maybe like half an hour before. Nice. Of course, that's not the one that inspired the original writer of the song. If you want, you can keep walking along the billabong. It's really pretty. A bit further away, there's one gorgeous spot you should check out. Okay. Thanks, lady. Yeah. <laughs> I did it and I was like, oh. I really should have specified beforehand what I would do if I couldn't find the person to give them the key. Uh, I did actually get sent a t-shirt and a matching onesie for Toby, except the onesie he That's doesn't get That's got to be bit. one of my favourite places in all of the Emerald Coast. He used to go there with Mum all the time before she became ill. But when he does, uh, I plan to take Back a photo, because it's a... Swagman it's the Lego the man holding the Lego baby, and I was going to try and Matilda. match the pose and put the Lego man and Lego in baby... Song? in the foreground as well see if I can pull it off but uh, he needs to be bigger because he doesn't fit fit it yet wait so what's the deal with a jump buck isn't the man capturing a sheep exactly he tells the sheep you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me which means you'll travel with me oh right and towards the end the lyrics get really weird don't they with the police and everything. Yeah, that's because he's stealing sheep. The police come to arrest him for stealing the sheep. So in order to escape them and not be caught alive, yeah, he throws himself in the billabong and dies. And at the end, his ghost comes back to sing the chorus. What's your point, Robbo? Nothing. Gotta love these old stories. Scarring our kids for life. <laughs> It, it is uh, a somewhat amusing how dark old fairy tales and stories get. Swim across. <laughs> what could go wrong? I mean, I'm, I'm going to probably end up swimming across the river here. Strong advice. Don't go swimming in water you don't know about. <laughs> Especially if you're up north north of Australia. Yep, those Grimm brothers lived up to their name. Yep. Is there even a bridge up there? Oh yeah, there's the bridge. Before I go running through all this. Let's see if there is anything. There is not. I do wonder where I'm going to find a croc. I'm presuming I'm going to have to go to the coastline to find him. But you... Because this doesn't look really like croc territory in the water there. Maybe freshies, but not salties. Got to find an estuary. Find some brackish water. Keep saying words that make it almost sound like I know what I'm talking about. That is the wrong way. I am going away. Let's 
Still nothing. Open land and nothing. The end of this road, right? Yeah. Did I find a working vehicle? No. Have I unlocked a working vehicle? No. <laughs> Have I been walking everywhere? Yes. Should I have bought the DLC that allowed me to get vehicles? Probably, but I didn't think of it before the stream started. Nah, I'm almost here. Look, the tower's just there. I'm, I'm not too far from the coast, I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, just go and walk about. Although, oh, mating call or a warning call? Not a close. Get over the ridge line so I can see. There we go. Oh, hello. Got him. Oh, that was a clean kill. Oh. That was so clean. Heart and lung. That's my cleanest yet. Yay. <laughs> Finally got a heart shot. Uh, let's get. I'm keeping. I'm keeping this one because it was a clean shot. Uh, let's get rid of the hog deer. Yay! Harvest kangaroo with the heart shot. Woo! Nice. Uh, where am I going? It did pose ready for me to shoot, but I'm still taking it. Still counting as a win. I mean, they do that. That kind of pose that almost makes them look like seriously buff meerkats. That up, head around. Ooh. That's a prime Javan Rusa. Wonder if I can see it at the bend. There was a kangaroo with a gun in Crocodile Dundee. How did I not... How do I not remember that? Was that in one of the sequels? Man, those movies got weird. Every time I... There's a... What's his name? Uh, there's a chef, an Australian chef who lives in LA. Um, and every time I've been watching the cooking channel SBS Food over here, 
um, and his show comes on and he's talking about prawns, it throws me because he's he's gone native, and it feels really really odd hearing an Australian genuinely call them shrimp. In the original. That clearly shows how long ago it was I watched that. A very long time ago. Let's see this Javan Rusa. Oh. Maybe I am. Yeah, I think we know going for the long shot here. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> Ducked perfectly. Wait. Wait. All right. Hold breath and. I think I got a hit. I'm sorry, what? Botanically speaking, prawns and shrimp are different. Botanically, as in plants. <laughs> there are many, many different types of prawn out there. <laughs> I thought you were doing that on purpose. Uh, where's the blood? There's the blood. No organs hit. Oh. I did get a kill though. Or is that the kangaroo kill from earlier? That'll be the kangaroo kill. Alright, back up the mountain I go. There are a huge number of species of prawn. Uh, but prawn and shrimp are not necessarily different as far as I'm aware. It's just the same, it's a different name for the same thing. Astrologically speaking. <laughs> uh, to be to be pedantic, the term you are looking for is phylogenetically. But I'm still not sure it's true. Pharmacologically, gastronomically. Mm. Gastronomically, they might be. Gastronomic definitions of things are vague and nebulous at best. Hence the whole vegetable fruit thing, which is not even an argument outside of uh, the eating of things. Because there is no uh, scientific definition of a vegetable. A vegetable. I couldn't get up that last bit. Uh, you mean taxonomically, Laws? <laughs> Taxonomically. 
Intelligence is knowing tomatoes are fruit. Wisdom is knowing they don't go on fruit salad. Yep. I'll pay that. I'll pay that, Jax. Alright, I'm going to go for this house down here, I think. Because that should get me to this point, and I reckon there's going to be some crocs down here. Unless there's some crocs along here. I don't remember whether berries fell under a proper um, definition. So, for some context to this, um, for my first year of uni, um, I did a year of horticultural science. Um, which is the start of a science degree where the goal is to create people is to teach people so that they can be create people is to teach people <laughs> so that they can um uh eventually be the kind of people who come up with new new crops does like design new things that can grow better fruit vegetables whatever What I remember about strawberries is they're a compound fruit. But I don't recall whether berry was a proper scientific definition or whether it's just a common usage definition. Well, I mean, Lohan, there are plenty of boneless animals. Crickets, worms, larva. I want to take a left. And still see no animals. Give me a croc. Give me a croc. Oh. Hello. It's definitely a salty. The biggest reptile in the world and highly aggressive. Excellent. If you don't know what you're doing, you'll be the prey. So be careful with this one, mate. Here goes. I'll be careful with this one, mate. Be careful right up until the moment I get death rolled in the water. Anyone say chicken fish? Cause apparently that's what that's what crocodile tastes like. I can't remember why I haven't. I don't think I've ever actually eaten crocodile. Which surprised me. Also, this is quite high elevation for a croc. Yeah, I imagine alligator and crocodile taste very similar. Given they are fairly closely related species and live in very similar environments in that brackish sort of water. Mm. 
very chewy. I imagine um the imagine the chewiness of it might be down to how you cook it. Because I mean, there's there are lots of um, animals that are more commonly eaten that can be chewy, like mutton. Um, if you don't prepare it appropriately for the age and expected toughness of the meat. Does the name or groups or classification make these taste any better? Because I don't need to know to make it taste good. Uh, no, but sometimes for me, from like a cooking perspective, it can be useful. I'm just going to get that rest zone and then come back up here and retract this crock. Bananas are also a grass. It's the next mark. Marinated long enough and a log is no longer chewy. True. Yeah, but corn being a grass is less surprising to me than bananas. Corn looks, at least looks like you expect a grass to look. Yeah, grass fruit. Okay, here goes. Tracks are getting closer. We're getting down closer to the water. And it's raining. Who's hoping Splitzy gets eaten? I'm expecting of the according to Twitch, 159 people here. About 150 are hoping I get eaten. Yep. Also, excuse me! Excuse me, huh. Oh, those sneezes. Ah. <laughs> Bubba. Thank you. Sorry about that. Flying tigers from Ark sounds like a weird English translation for an 80s kids Japanese animation. Mainly because I'm thinking in, in my head, running through my head right now, is Samurai Pizza Cats. Although I'm not sure that was a bad translation so much as an accurate one. All right, where's the croc? Also, where should I shoot the croc? Is it part of me that doesn't want to shoot it in the chest? Because I kind of want it to just stop. And if I give it any time to move, it might decide to attack rather than back off. Wherever you shoot it, shoot it a lot. Oh. Oh, what the? Oh boy. Okay, that's a lot closer than I thought it was going to be.
There we go. All right, here. What the? Why is it running away from me? Come here, big girl. Big boy. Whatever you are. I think there might be more than one round here. Because, yeah, I heard it from the left as well. What's this? Resting zone. What time of day is it? 14.43. It is their rest time. This is their zone. I am in their zone. How are you, my crocodile dials? <laughs> this is... This is something else. It could be behind me. I don't know. There could be more than one around here. This is slightly terrifying. I don't know what happens when you die in this game. And don't spoil it for me. I'm quite happy to find out if slash when I die from a crocodile. Seriously? The crooks go. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Did it disappear into the water. Oh. Croc. I was so close. I'm going to guess that the crocs are going to run away at the sound of gunfire. Not come closer. But, if I loiter by the water's edge... I wonder if the croc will come to me. Do not recommend this IRL. <laughs> this would be a very bad idea. Come on. If I'd known it was going to be so hard to track, I would have taken the... Just taken a shot. Chibi, I don't know if I want to take the scope off at this stage. I mean, if I'm, go if I'm expecting to no-scope, I think I'm better off using this. No 
Come on, crocodiles, where are you? Oh dear. Squeal like a pig. Hang on. I think I can do that. Nope, that ain't a pig. That's a deer. Yeah, I don't think I've got a pig. Curious. If I follow this track down to the water... Can I see them in the water? Or do they just get to be invisible? The rock. Log. Oh, hello. It's a deer. Oh, hello. Well, that scared off the other things. I'm not sure I can shoot into the water. Dive in and check if you killed it. Well, I didn't get any kill thing on the map, so I don't think so. I heard the hissing from upriver, so I'm going up this way. Yeah, I've watched Mistbusters about shooting in the water. I've also played lots of games. Here we go. Here we go. Best part is I have to swim across the water to f check out if I got this guy. <laughs> All right. Crocodile with a rifle that is not appropriate, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, go for a neck shot or a chest shot? I think I'll go a chest shot. Three. Breath. Shoot. Alright, I shot it twice. Oh! 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 <laughs> That's... That, that was a big croc. That is a big croc. I'm going to reload. That croc looks angry. <laughs> I don't know if I can even... I wonder if I have to get an insta-kill on them, because they dive into the water. Let's go across there and see what's, what's there anyway. Decent sized blood spatter. Vital organ hit. And 
the second shot was very low bleed rate. Oh, it's floating in the water. There it is. I got a croc. And I haven't died yet. Oh, it's floating. I think it might float back towards the shore so that you don't have to dive into the water. Yeah, anyone want some boots? Flesh, liver, and stomach. So that was the second shot, I think. Okay, so you got to get quite far forward on it to get the heart shot. It's got to be kind of in between. That's a challenging one. Yeah. I got... That's my heart shot one. Gotta keep it crock. Not sure I actually kept that then. Oh well. I shot a crock! <laughs> Hooray! I did a thing. Uh, which means, since I killed a crock, this time we'll do another giveaway. And here we go. Do that in chat. And this time I will give away the base game and a DLC key for the Emerald Coast. So it'll be both. Steam keys for both. Or crocs around here? Got any more salties for me? Head up to that house. Okie dokie. <laughs> so I'll give you another another ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty. Here goes. And roll it. Noobtastic. Let's send you the codes. Enjoy. There's the game key. And there's the Emerald Coast key. Cool. Oh. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh. We're going to take a pot shot because I'm going to wrap up the hunter here and go across and play a bit more Forever Skies. I really wanted to get myself a, a salty. I'm so glad I did. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so I'm going to just hang around. I'll be switching over games. I'm just going to stop my recording and then start a new recording with the Forever Skies thing so that I can do it for the VODs. So hang around. <laughs> 